folks, this is Richard of Doomed Movie Thon, Cinema Somnambulist. Hello, this is the Doom Show. What's that other thing I'm part of? What is that accomplishment? Fang of Joy fanzine? On sale now, Ooh, baby. Oh well, maybe I'll think of it later. <laughs> So I'm back with another episode of The Unseenly. What is The Unseenly? Well, you see my horror movie shelves in the other room here. They're full, and I need to pull off movies that I've never seen before and watch them, and then we'll review them. And if they suck, then they got to get out of this house so I have room for more horror movies. If I love it, it's awesome, and I'll put it right back on the shelf. Doesn't that provide a lot of dramatic tension to these? I guess I better go pick one because you don't have all day, but I do. Hmm, no. No, 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 I've seen those. I've seen those. Wait a second. Wait just one minute. Roussel Muckelhackey's Tale of the Mommy. When an archaeological expedition opens an ancient tomb, the unimaginable evil of a cursed pharaoh, Talos, is unleashed. But before all are lost, team leader Sir Richard Turkle, horror legend Christopher Lee, Dracula, the mummy, the curse of Frankenstein, heroically sacrifices his own life to destroy the tomb and contain Talos once more. Then, years later, Sir Richard's granddaughter, Sexy Louise Lombard, sets out with her own team to finish her grandfather's work, not knowing that she herself is about to reawaken the supernatural terror of the mummified Talos! Exclamation point. Also starring action star Jason Scott Lee of Rudyard Kipling's The Jungle Book and Dragon the Bruce Lee Story, the heart-pounding Russell Mulcahy's Tale of the Mummy tells us that this time there'd be nothing that can stop the mummy's murderous quest for uh, immortality! Exclamation point. Before we go any farther, I want to mention that uh, this particular DVD is from my mom. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> hey! I just finished watching Russell Mulcahy's Tale of the Mummy. Um, so this movie has a big budget, it has great camera work, that's the end of my compliments. Well, Christopher Lee. Christopher Lee was great, of course. <sighs> Basically, the moment his character dies, turn off the movie, because the rest of it is a big waste of time. Oh my god. I thought maybe with a strange cast, because this has some weird people in it, might be an outside of the box kind of a thing. Some obscure gem that just passed me by. Uh, I'm not a big mummy movie fan to begin with, so I wasn't expecting much, but hey, you never know. Maybe this will be the one. First of all, the mummy isn't fully formed for most of the movie. It's a pile of flying bandages. Uh, it's collecting all these body parts. And it still is taking forever to form into a humanoid-like being. I think it's a big mistake, because it was not interesting. The flying bandages, the flying bandages looked really bad especially when they were completely CGI. The monster, because it's not even a mummy anymore after it forms, it is birthed like some kind of alien creature. It looks so stupid that I almost preferred it to be the bandages again. Bandages. Bandages. That's a hard word to say. Just before 
the mummy alien being is born and after it's collected some of the body parts uh, the mummy was all wrapped up in actually like a, a monster, like a, like a, a creature like Jason or it gave me a Wishmaster vibe, which that's never a good vibe for a movie to give off. Dialogue's bad, script is boring. Shit! I really tried to like this. Um, I fell asleep during it, it was so boring. I lost just about five minutes. My wife woke me up and I was like, don't worry, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I don't know if this was rushed into production to get to get out in theaters around the same time as any of the uh, Brendan Frazier starring Mummy movies. Um, I'd definitely rather be watching those, and those aren't even my favorites or anything, but I could use some Hammer Mummy right now. Beware the Hammer Mummy! Ooh, I think I should write that screenplay. It's a mummy coming back from ancient times to bash people's brains in with a big ass hammer. Thank you for watching. Um, I hopefully I'll have better luck next time. At least maybe next time I'll watch something that isn't so boring. God. Who is Russell Mulcahy? Who gave him an apostrophe S? I don't even have my own apostrophe S. <laughs>